everyone! So I am finally here with my B6 Apinto. It finally arrived! This is the Giglio Lotus Epoca um, in the B6 Apinto size and it arrived this morning and I'm so super happy with how it looks. Um, I did manage to get quite a smooth leather looking one. Um, so yeah, I'm very happy with it. And then these are the two notebooks that I'm going to put in my um, a Pinto and it will be my work 2020 planner. So here we have the Marks Edit. This is in a, like a dusty muted mauve colour. Um, it, it looks stunning and it does feel um, quite luxurious. Um, it's got slight texture to it and Yep, I, I'm just so happy with how everything like goes together. I was like, yay! <laughs> I was kind of like a aim in the dark with this color because I wasn't sure if they were going to match at all. So um, yeah, I'm very happy with how this turned out. Um, so on the front and on the spine, it does have the um, 2020 embossed in like a champagne gold foil. Um, it's super pretty, but yeah, I definitely love the feel of it and with a slight texture too. So yep, it's got um, quite a soft cover, but even with it being a soft cover, it does feel like it won't, it will last quite some time. Like it, you know, some soft covers, you're like, okay, is that gonna snap off? Like after a few months, um, but no, this is actually quite sturdy. Um, I do have my Coffee Monsters Co. 2020 holidays in here. Um, that's the sheet here. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'll just quickly actually go through this notebook um, this is a new to me brand um, so is this one um, so this is again as I say the marks edit and if we open up we've got the title page um, I actually found out about this notebook through Sierra from SM plans on Instagram um, she showed this exact one on her insta stories and I of course absolutely fell in love with the color of the cover and decided you know what since um, I have been in a B6 for my Stayology. I quite like the size. Why don't I try it for work? And then I was chatting to Sierra about it as well. She actually uses her uh, Marks Edit for her work. Um, and she used it for 2019 as well. So I checked out her video on YouTube. And then after I was like, okay, I think I'll, I can, I could definitely let this, um, have a go at this. So um, once you open up to the next page, you've got the three yearly views, you've got the year we're currently in, the year that the planner is in, and then just a forward looking year as well at the bottom. Um, and then next up, you've got this year plan 2020. Now this page, I I have this, um, all the Hobonichi Weeks also has this layout and um, one of the suggestions I got was to use it for step count um, for every day and I'm not going to lie, I got a bit lazy with checking exactly how many sets I've done so um, this that idea failed for this year. Hopefully next year I can pick that back up or if I've got another idea to do this for work then I'll put it here. Um, and then next we have um, this year vision for 2020. So I think this is kind of like what you hope to have, uh, what you hope to achieve your certain goals for the year or just little like bubble memories of a holiday idea. Um, just like a, I look at this like a memory kind of thing. Um, well, like a forward memory kind of planning thing. Um, then you've got year planning list. I'm not sure how I'm going to work that yet. And then you've got a monthly events 2020 here. Um, might use this for certain big events with work um, or certain holidays that I won't plan in a certain month. Um, and then at the bottom, you've got this um, extra room to write in. Now, this um, planner actually starts in... Um, um, what, what do you call it? It starts in October um, 2019 for their monthly. So I got a little bit impatient and just went straight <laughs> for it. Uh, I really wanted to have a go at writing in this planner. So what I did was um, I put in the plans that I um, already had marked down in other planners um, for October, December, October, November, December um, that I knew of this year. And then for next year, I put down all the birthdays. <laughs> So yeah, I just had a go. The paper is super buttery. I absolutely love it. Um, so on the monthlies, this is how it looks. You've got extra writing room at the top here for key events or key um, 
other little important things that you want to have written down or just maybe a quote that that would be quite nice and um, you've got a backward looking um, month and a forward looking month um, and I've actually tested out um, some mile liners um, mile liner highlighters um, in this uh, planner and actually holds out okay you've got slight shadowing but not so much so that's great um I've actually used ballpoint pen so this one here this is the sailor sakura 300 ballpoint I think that's the name of it um if I find it again I'll link it down below in the description um but I think for this type of paper I personally go towards ballpoints instead of gel gel is normally um I only really use it on paper that I print on um, just so I know that the planner can handle it and usually with like printed inserts um, after it's used I just store it away whereas this is I don't know how much bleed through it can handle so um, yeah I do gravitate towards ballpoint and um, so I've used that on here at the back I do have a pen test so I'll show you there as well so um, yeah it handles it quite well so yay for that um, and then before the actual month starts for the daily it has this kind of overview you've got a theme here not really sure of how I'm gonna um, actually use this section but um, we'll see how it goes oh I'll, I'll figure it out on the way next year um, so you've got three theme you've got planning list you've got expense list and then you've got this kind of record section that has um, six separations um, could be like a certain day that you need to um, do certain things maybe like a slight memory plan or two um, so I'm not really sure but I, th I find this quite cool to have just before each month um, or like certain goals you could put down in the record to like kind of hit the target and um, so this is how the daily looks so you've got the day at the corner you've got a weather icon icon and a temperature icon and then on the left side you get the hours starting from six in the morning from this area here you get two dots before it and then a clock I think you could put like your alarm clock there what time you need to get up and um, we're just anything really that's probably how I would use it um, it goes from 6 in the morning till 9 at night and you get extra dots at the bottom to either extend your hour or um, key tasks that you need to get done at the bottom here you do also get an extra four checklists and what's so cool at the bottom here right I know I'm I'm trying to keep my camera um, stayed at the same area and um, so you've got actual birthdays of certain key noted um, people at the bottom you've got birthdays and you've got passings and got a world events so I find that quite cool um, and it's on each day so you see um, let's see for my birthday like Alicia Keys is born on the same birthday and um, a couple um, of famous Japanese um, people are also born there then yeah so there's quite a few so it's quite cool to see who has the same birthday as you two <laughs> just in like an extra note um and then on the right side here you do get the monthly calendar and you also get it highlighted on which week you're on so I found that quite quite neat to have yeah so that's how the dailies is laid out there's no weekly which is why I end up getting this planner um, so it starts from the 1st of January to the 31st of December for the year 2020 for your dailies and then you get some extra pages at the back here extra line kind of like dot lined pages and then on this side this is where I did my pen test so it was actually before that this section started I thought I'd just look at um, how the shadowing is on an actual empty page as notes pages I tend to not use them much so I didn't really mind where I started on it um, so yeah so these are all the mile liners that I tested out and it's just a bit of shadowing so that's okay um, and then these are the pens that I tested on it so we've got Sarasa Dry 0.4 and um, it doesn't bleed through again it's just slight shadowing um, my Sakura Sailor ballpoint pen um, in the fine tip and a uni uh, reunionable jet stream 0.5 and um, they've done quite well so I'm happy with how that turned out um, again it's really smooth buttery paper so I think it can handle it quite a bit um, and then you've got next the international holidays for 2020 so you've got it in each country um, just um, yeah it's, it's quite good to have because I don't know where you, you end up purchasing it at least you've got 
the ones at the back just to see and I could also see other countries where their holidays are so that's quite cool to know and you've got our world time chart here and then next you've got a couple of subway maps um, in Japan so yeah that'd be quite cool um, and then we have an address section on this page and then lastly we've got your personal data um, so yeah so that's the marks edit um, I purchased um, my marks edit and my oh Torinko um, hold on yeah I believe it's called the Torinko yeah uh, the Torinko on um, Amazon but based in Japan um, so I, I'm registered with uh, Amazon based in UK um, so when I actually went to purchase the Amazon based in Japan I had to make a new account I think just due to the fact it's a different country even though it's the same company they kind of need you to register that too um, so if you're wondering about that just keep a note of that it's not because your account doesn't work or there's an issue it's just because it's a different country um, so yeah that's where I got um, the two notebooks here so as you saw there was only a monthly and a daily I thought you know what I'm gonna add on a weekly because <laughs> I quite like my weekly views as well now I do have an Hobonichi week set for next year um oh, oops um, hold on let me just bring back the table um I have a Hobonichi um weeks on normal weeks for 2020 and this lovely baby pink um originally my plan was to work these two together but um, I did think about should I slot it into the B6 and um, but then it's like two different sizes of planner even though I think the height could do it the width I think would eventually bother me so I thought you know what I'll just look into it and see what notebooks there are and then I found this brand called Turinko I think that's how you say it um, and they had two weekly layouts they had a weekly layout that was exact pretty much exactly the same as the Hobonichi weeks where it was horizontal weekly on your left side and then on the right side instead of gridded like the Hobonichi it was dot grid um, so that's actually what I checked out with first but then I thought I'm gonna try and use this in my planner system so let's change it up a bit <laughs> and then I went back and ended up with this weekly and um, this is a vertical weekly layout um, it's called the Tarinko um, Design 7 they have quite a number of designs I've kind of lost the leaflet <laughs> um, if I see it again I will show you guys on Instagram um, but you can definitely see all the different styles they have for this brand on Amazon as well um, so yeah this I believe is the light baby pink color um, and what a great thing is for this planner is um, it starts in December no it starts in the last week of November for the weekly and it goes I think straight up to the end of the year yeah, so it actually starts this year rather than this daily starting in next year. But fair enough, the dailies, you have a day per page, so that'll be a lot of paper. Um, so yeah, I thought that was quite neat to have this one start in this current year. Um, and their monthlies, um, I'll just show you. Um, I'll go through the monthlies in a moment. Um, so this is how the cover looks like. Um, it's a plastic cover. It's got slight soft I don't know what to call this texture um, but I love the feel of it <laughs> um, yeah so it's got this cover to it um, it came with the cover actually and then at the back it's got the secretarial pocket um, oh is my camera focusing okay right there we go um, it's got a slight secretarial to it and a pen loop now the quality of the cover I quite like um, it's the quality of the notebook actual cover I'm slightly concerned but with the price that I paid I was like okay um so I personally will not take this planner out just because this is one of the flimsy ones that I'm like okay might not survive um without its actual cover cover um if I took it out for a couple of months or so because it's just cardboard um yep just as it is so um that um if you're not a fan of that then probably wouldn't go towards this um, see if Mark's edit has a weekly layout um, but I thought I'd give this a go because I haven't seen this planner um, in the planner community or anyone that I've known of showing it, showing it so this was just a trial really just to see how it go 
Um, so as we open up here, I do love the inside. It's like a light gray color. Um, so on the inside here, you've got the cover page. Then you've got um, the year 2020 on two pages for the monthly. You do get some areas to write down key events. Um, and then on the next page, you get this current year and then a forward looking year on one page. And then next up, you get December of 2019. So the difference for the monthly here is you get extra room on the left side to write whatever you need, extra little notes, key things that you want to get done in December. Just really up to you how you want to use that. Um, it's dot grid for that. And then on each day, it's actually separated into two little sections. I think I've got a helicopter passing by. So if you hear like a low hum, it's actually a helicopter. I'm um, sorry, side note. Um, the day is split into two boxes. so. Um, I think how I would use this is a uh, top, bo top box would be possibly certain task I need to get done for that day and at the bottom maybe a meeting or something like that and if I have double meetings then I could split it as morning and afternoon. That's probably how I would use this monthly. Um, and then you get a forward looking month only. So um, yeah, the month starts from December of 2019 and it goes all the way up to um, I think March yeah March of 2021 so yeah it gives you a few extra months whereas this one gives you the current the 2019th more um, and then this one just gives you the 2021 more and um, so yeah it starts next week actually for this weekly layout so yay <laughs> I get to have a go at it um, so this is how the weekly layout looks It's a vertical layout that normally I'm not a fan of vertical layouts my brain just kind of goes no um, after a while it's just like I can't function with it but I thought since it's split into three different boxes I would use the top box as the morning section of the day if I have certain events or certain tasks I need to get done in the morning then, I, then it's kind of split off and um, the middle section would be like from half 11 in the morning till about two half two in the afternoon and then the bottom section will be like three till um, finishing work time so that's how I use the three boxes and I thought that would be a good way to separate everything um, and then at the bottom here you've got extra note um, section in dot grid so yeah I thought let's have a go and then on the left side you do get the week highlighted you're on so that's quite cool as well and so yeah it starts in December of 2019 and then for the weekly let's see what was it again it goes up to the last week of December for 20 uh, 2020 well and then gives you a few days of 2021 in January and at the back you've got some extra note paper in dot grid and then, oh, we'll get there, we'll get there. Hold on, oh, almost there. You get an age chart. Oh, that's, that's different. <laughs> uh, did think I need to use one, but that's quite interesting to see. <laughs> um, and then you've got your personal data section and you've got your ID and password. Down at the back, you've just got some details of the company and then the back there. So that's this notebook. Um, again, here is the name and this is the number of this one. Um, I will say on the Amazon website to find this notebook, double check your listing picture, not just their title. Um, I think there was a slight mix up in their numbers, but definitely double check the pictures. I follow the pictures. I didn't follow the title as much as in the number. Um, so yeah, just keep an eye out on that. Um, and then, yeah, let's get to it. Let's put this in my B6 Apunto. I'm so excited to use, yay. Um, so here, oh, it's so pretty. <laughs> so as we open up, so we have um, just some extra room here. Uh, quite a number of card slots not sure if I have enough cards right now and um, probably just put some cutesy stickers actually I do have cutesy stickers put that at the back then we've got your two uh, bookmarks here you've got a slot here to put in your B6 notebook and I'm going to use this side as well you've got your zipper pocket um, I don't think I have anything I want to put in here just now and then a small little secretarial and your pen loop so yeah I'm very happy with the one that I got 
Yay! It's such a pretty colour. So you can see here, oops, I'm going to put my marks edit on the right side. So I'm just going to slot it in. Um, oh, actually, before I do that, quick size comparison. Um, so I did some measuring earlier, but I measured it in centimetres. So um, if you're wondering about inches, get your Google Translator ready <laughs> or metric system, get it ready. Um, so uh, the, let's see, I'll just get it there. So width wise, it's like a centimetre wider with the Tarinko in comparison to the Marks Edit and about half a centimetre taller. Um, so yeah, that's how it looks. Um, of course, because this is a daily, it will be a bit more wider, well, chunkier with all the pages. Um, but yeah, you do get that extra little um, space in your weekly for this planner. Yeah, there you go. Um, let's see. No, it's fine. It's all good. So here, I'm just going to slot it in there. And then this planner, I'm just going to make sure I don't get caught. Okay, so that's with both notebooks fitted in. So for the Tarinko, it was a bit of a snug fit, um, but it does manage. It has teeny tiny little bit of room left at the top there. Um, I don't mind it um, being a bit of a wiggle for this notebook, um, as it was also the same with my cover on cover for my Hobonichi weeks um, in my um, Slimba Pinto. So that's okay. Um, it doesn't stretch the leather so I'm fine with that as well um, and as you saw earlier the marks edit fits in no problem um, so I'm just gonna shut it so you guys can see how it is to handle both notebooks um, so yeah it does fit quite nicely I didn't have any issues closing it at all um, so yeah even if you just have one notebook it does give um, your um, this notebook a bit more growing room. Um, I would say for my B6 theology it does get a quite a bit chunky <laughs> after a certain amount of use through it, um, especially with like the added post-it notes or washi if you like to add that, um, or stickers or um, just certain notes really. Um, it does chunk up the theology. So um, I have seen, I think it's, I think it's Nicholas Planner um, from Pink Planner Girl on was on YouTube and Instagram. Her um, B6 Apunto does get quite chunky, but it absolutely looks beautiful. Um, so yeah, they go with both planners in there. Um, and then I'll also fit the pen in. So just give me one moment. I'm just gonna make sure that uh, my pen is definitely shut. Um, don't wanna get any marks on it. Um, so there we go, I'll just pop it there and that's with the pen put upside down because of this battle, it can't really go down to it but pens like um, the Muji gel pen that I have somewhere and it'll fit in normally so um, yeah there you go, so that's how it looks again, no struggle with the button um, yeah, absolutely love it oh, it looks so pretty <laughs> So um, yeah, I'm very, very happy with this notebook and I'm very excited to use the two notebooks here for the year 2020 for work. It's going to be very exciting and a very pretty pink year. Another pretty baby pink year for sure, for me. <laughs> um, I do have my neutrals um, behind me. Um, I am currently rotating between neutrals and baby pinks um, for my Instagram um, feed. Um, you've probably seen like some neutrals for one day three. I'm doing it by row So three photos hopefully a day um, But I missed yesterday's because I was just so busy with family um, But these two are freebies that I got from Madison Fox plans and um, when I purchased her acetate And I thought the covers just fit quite well with this planner even though I'm planning to use stickers to the very very minimum um, but like color coding with simple dots or like hearts um, or just just very simple icons I wouldn't mind using in these two planners is only when we when I go super cutesy I rather just keep it to my other notebooks um, than have it in for work so because this sticker sheet is a bit too big I've just popped it in here um, these you've probably seen in my other setups because I still refuse to use them because they're just so cute <laughs> um, I'm sure they're still fine for sticking in um, I do have, I think I have a couple of other sheets as well, they're just somewhere. 
but there you go so I'm just going to pop that there and then just leave these three blank for now for possible business cards um, and then I don't really know what to do with this bottom slot so I'm just going to leave it um, but yeah so that is my one of my 2020 planners sorted for next year I am planning to film a 2020 planner system setup um, but now that I've filmed this video which is what I was really wanting to do this week um, I might delay that a bit because I do want to sort out um, my system a little bit better before I post it up um, but yeah so there you go guys if you have any questions um, let me know in the comments down below and I'll try my best to answer them so um, I'll see you guys later bye